Hello, welcome back to Reader's Theatre. Today we will be looking at The Child and the Baker. It's a quick scene involving a child. Oh, imagine that. And a baker. Wow, surprise. Reader's Theatre is acting, but without having to have memorized the script beforehand. You will get a part, a role, and as that part comes up on my screen, you're going to read your lines with as much emotion as you figure you need to. Now a few things. If by chance you come across words in parentheses, you don't actually have to read those out loud. Words in parentheses are more of a stage direction. So for performing this in front of a live audience, a stage direction might tell us whether we need to be raising our hand up, lowering a hand, looking over at somebody across the room, stuff like that. So again, don't read words in parentheses out loud. Now, I can't hear you reading your lines since I'm making this video ahead of time. So I always have to be thinking about things in my own head and kind of figuring out where most people's reading speed will be and that sort of thing. And, you know, we'll do our best and Hopefully I won't speak over your lines. Hopefully there won't be too much dead air along the way. So two parts to this theme, this play. The child and the baker. I'll go ahead and be the baker. And so, yeah, you'll be the child. First things first. Pretend we have a sign up that says five cookies for four cents. Okay. Three, two, one, action. No sorry, Missy. You have to pay like everyone else. Yep. That's what the sign says. Hmm. I suppose so. Well, I reckon I would. Look, what are you driving at? I don't understand all this. Yes. Hmm. Well, I'll be.